Mr. Alange. Mari, how am I? How are you today? How are you? You are outside? Yeah, I'm outside. It's cool. Nice. Mm -hmm. It's nice outside. Yeah, very nice. <clears throat> what are we, a chaf, a chaf uh, hey or a chaf uh, dollars? What are we on? Dollars. 25? 24. Oh, chaf, okay, yeah. Oh, 24. Okay, good. Hello, gentlemen. Hi. How you doing? Who are you, who are you calling a gentleman here, huh? See you, buddy. What's that, vodka? Cheers. Vodka? Good old-fashioned <laughs> agua, agua fria. Agua, huh? Achidoso. That's good. Uh, hola. Hey, Harold. Oh, I, thought you were, I thought you were flying. What's that? I thought you were flying. Oh, tomorrow morning. Oh. Yeah. Where are you heading? Uh, New Jersey for a wedding. Oh, good. That's good. Okay. Yeah, good my, for my you. nephew's daughter is getting married. Who's getting married? My uh, my sister in law, Veronica, her her granddaughter. Oh, mm. that's nice. Oh, very nice. Oh, that's good. Brilliant. It's going to be in Lakewood. You think they'll have kosher mm. food? That's sweet. I don't know. It's a, is there a Jews there? Do they have a. a yeah, they, they, have, they have a minion in Lakewood? Yeah, they have a reconstructionist. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I heard yeah. You, uh, Lakewood used to be like a it resort. Over the, yeah. Is that the, yeah, yeah Lakewood was. used to go there for Pesach. They used to have hotels on the lake. Really? Yeah. And the, used to, see them, used she, in fact, she didn't, she, she was in the Lower East Side. You know, and back in the day, she didn't cover her hair, this or that. But when she went for Beisach, she said she yeah. felt so uncomfortable because it was all like Satmar women, you know? Wow. wow. So she she bought a shaitol for Beisach. <laughs> no comments. No comments. Yeah, I, no my, comments my, in that Jack shaitol. Re Jack Rech yeah, Jack Rechmans told me when he lived in Lake Window after they came after the war, he, they, they had a chicken farm. Oh. So Henry Rechmans had a chicken farm. They all that was the big chicken farm area they have it until you until you found out that it wasn't you know you can come to california and make a better living so yeah, well, right. but it can, they used to all, a lot of chicken farms in uh, well, in Lake uh, yeah, at that time. In, uh yeah in uh where was it where, where's the ch other chicken place in new jersey Vineland, Vineland, Vineland. New jersey. Vineland. yeah Vineland. Oh, Vineland. yeah because uh, i yeah. think the Yossi. same was true here in claremont i think rabbi dr fox i think his family grew Grew up on chicken farms or something like yeah. that. Rabbi Krauss also. Rabbi Krauss and Yossi Khan. Uh -huh. yep. Yeah, that's a... Fre Freddie Handelis. Right. Oh. Freddie Handelis oh, also lived in Vineland. <sighs> then he went to, like we learned the Gamora, to big, big animals. He went from chickens to cows. You know, <laughs> and horse, horses, yeah. He had, Apparently here Freddie, he had big ranches. Freddie, Freddie Handelis also... When he was in Tokyo, the shoe was there on his name. When he was in Vineland, they built a shoe on his name also. And then wow. now the school is on his name. He liked to do those things. Wow, wonderful, yeah. He was a, a good man, good man. Very good. Sure was. Good sense of humor, too. Yep. I just saw her name. Where could he have gone? I don't know where he disappeared to. Maybe he went back to Ellie. Oh. No, I don't think so. No. Okay, I don't know where he went. Oh, there he is.
Hi, everybody. Hello. Tav Dalit, 24. Ain't Isha appointed my Sushani Belochimish. A woman, you know, normally, so in the first, first, second year, and the fourth and fifth year of the Shemitah cycle, the farmer, the first tenth of his produce is my Rishon. The second tenth is Meister Shani. The uh, third and sixth year, instead of Meister Shani, you give Meister Ani. Now, if you lived in Tel Aviv and it was too much to schlep all that produce to Yushalayim, because you have to eat Meister Shani Yushalayim, you could redeem it for money, but you have to pay an extra fifth, 20%. So ain't Isha put in my Sushani below. Was the custom to use that money for Yuntiv then, like when you went on yes. Aliyah Sarego? Yes, you have the purpose of the redemption. It means the Kadu, let's say you live in Tel Aviv. You have a thousand dollars of wheat that had been separated as my Sushani. So you have to transfer the Kadusha of that my Sushani to twelve hundred dollars. Now that, not a thousand, because it, it was a, an extra fifth above. Then you took that $1,200 and you bought things in Yushalayim and, with, and you had to eat $1,200 worth of Meister Shani in Yushalayim. So you could use that just when you happen to be in Yushalayim for Elias Sarego. You didn't have to go special. That's correct. Yeah. That, that's what they did. That's what they did. They they would wait. They would. And they wouldn't necessarily go every regal. They would go maybe once a year, whatever. And that's why the dinim of Balta Akher is usually one, you know, it's a whole year cycle. Yeah. So any support of my... What about my Shani? My Shani was given to Anian. I know, locally, or does he have to Locally, they did not, that did not have to be eaten in Yushalayim. Okay. Only my Shani had to be, just like my Rishon. My Sarishan that you gave to the Levi, that didn't have to be eaten in Yerushalayim. It was given to the local Levi. The Truma, the fur before you give anything, you give Truma. You start off with 100. 150th was Truma. So two out of the 100 was Truma. Then, you know, 10% of 98, 9.8 was My Sarishan. And then whatever's left, 10% of 90 was My Sarishani. And but how you handled each thing was different. Truma you gave to the Kohanim. They didn't have to eat it. They didn't have to eat Truma in Yushalayim. And the Levium could take Meister Rishon and do whatever they want with it. And eat it wherever they live. Same thing with Meister Ani. Meister Shani says specifically that it was eaten in Yushalayim. Now, we're talking about Meister Shani here that belongs to the husband. So the wife cannot now if a strange person a friend was pointed the Meister Shani for his friend he didn't have to he didn't have to pay the extra 20 percent so the Tanakami here is saying that a wife is considered like himself it's when it says be my throw so she's part of my throne. Rabbi Shimon and Elizabeth, Rabbi Shimon and Mary, Isha part of my throne. He held that the, the Isha could redeem the Maestro Shani without the fifth. Now we don't understand Echidomi. What's the case? Now whose money is the wife using? Is it, if, if the wife is using the husband's money, then he gives her Let's say he's he gives her here, here he gives his wife twelve hundred dollars to redeem it. And the Meister also belongs to the Baal. So what's happening here? So basically the husband appointed her the Shalia. Well, that's not a that's not an that's not a loophole. Just like he has to pay the Khoimish, a Shalich has to pay the Khoimish. 
So what is Rab Meir talking about? That if the Isha can be pointed without the Chaymish. Elab is a Dida. It's her money. And Meister Dida, but here's Meister. And the Rab Meir thus is treating her like a third party who is re who's redeeming his friends, Meister. Because it says, but below Isha. So the Ish, she is Potter. A third party gave the woman money and said, I'm giving it to you on condition that you redeem the miser of your husband. But the one says, We heard the opposite for this. That Rav Meir was this. Rav Meir said that whatever, whenever somebody gives something to a wife, the husband acquires it right away. And then we're back to the question: if if somebody gave something to the wife, it's as if the ball was pointed at it. How can Rav Meir say that the Isha pays? No, he doesn't pay the chlin. On Rabbi Eipuch. So you have to switch the sheet in that price between Rabbi and the Chachat. Rav Amaloylam Loit Teipuch. Vahach of a Meister to Asmi Veinas Askina. We're talking about Meister that came to the woman through Yerusha from her father. Rav Meir Lutame. Shomer Meister Momen Hegdishu. Now, how do you view Meister? Is it my asset or is it an asset that belongs to Hegdish? So Mayor is consistent and says, My sir is mom and Hegdish, the low kind of It's not an asset of the Baal. And therefore, a woman could be poide even from money of her husband without adding the fifth. Because it's like a strange man doing it. Because it's not his own personal asset. But Rabon Tamayu, the Amri Momen had to No, Meiser's personal money. And therefore, Kanile Bal. So just like he acquires assets that the woman brings in from, her, from Yerusha, from her father, because he eats Paris, so it's considered part of his Rechush. So when she's being poida, shlichus of the balka avda, and therefore he, he would have she would have to give the fifth. Tana. Yotze b'shen va'ayin uveroshe evorim shen v'chayzri. If a master knocks out the eye of an evet kanani or the tooth, or any other limbs that don't grow back, so he goes out free. Bish m'shen va'ayin ksivi. It says in the Torah. Of, of the first take of Pasuk. But El Roshe Vormi, no. What about other limbs? So the Gemara says, Dumi Lashen Vaayim. Ma Shen Vaayim Mumin Shibagolu. A tooth and the eye, the lack of them, is a moon that is apparent. Number two, vein and choyzer, an eye doesn't grow back, an adult tooth doesn't grow back. I've called mumin, so you cut off somebody's finger or toes or another limb, which would be a mumba goli, vein and choyzer. Since there's a posuk by shame and a posuk by eye. It should fall under the category of Shnei Ksuvim that come to teach one thing. Kol Shnei Ksuvim Ba'am Kechad Ein Melandim to other things. So the Gemara says it's not Shnei Ksuvim because each one is needed for their own. Tzrichi. Because of Rachman Hashem, if the Torah only would have written tooth, Hava Bina Afilu Shein Dechola. Maybe it's a children's tooth that, that grows back. Because of Rachman Hashem, and the eye doesn't grow back, so you have to knock out a tooth that doesn't grow back. 
e cause of corner i in avamina ma i in shinivri ima and i when the child is born the eye is there but the teeth are not there of kol shinivri ima of a shame that only grows later lo maybe he wouldn't go out lecheres so tzricha i need to be told both teeth so ema it says ki ake shain avdo o os ein avdo that's the possible. So ki ake klau. Shain va ayin prat. You have a klalu prat. Ain bechlal al mashu be prat. Shain va ayin in midiachrin elo. And maybe so wouldn't refer to other li limbs. So the Gemara says no. It says lachapshi shalchenu. So chazav a klau. So you really have a structure of klalu pratu klau. And what, how does, how does that, what's that formula? That iya tadan elakena prat. You include other things that are similar to the prat. Ma prat the prat that the Torah talks about, shein va'ayin, is mum shebegolui. Are outward mums, shein and chayzrim, that don't grow back. Av kol mum shebegolui vein and chayzrim. That means the limb doesn't work anymore. And in a chose. So maybe you have to add And if that's so, Allama Tanya Tolosh Bizikeno, he pulled out his beard and Dildilbo Etzem. One of the jaw jaw bones was hanging loose. Because it broke, dislocated. Even though that doesn't cause bitul mamalacha, so lechavshi shalchenu ribuihu. It comes to add other things that are not exactly kein aprat. Well, e rubu if it's just a general inclusion. So I feel he kal yadov Even if you struck him on his arm, and it withered. But so if we lock up, it's going to get healed. Maybe Nami should go out and Alma Alma Tani call the other sons of Zovlach. So I never do it to Belchir. Because in Cain, Shane, I and my honor lay. Even so, if something that's going to grow back in Shane Vain, what was the point in the Torah writing Shane Vain? It's to teach us that. Um, we can only include limbs that are similar to Shane Va'ayin. Only those do we include in which limbs the every goes out if it's struck. Torah about a kulam, Eved Yotzeb and Lecherus, but Tzorich get Shechur, the Reb According to Reb Shimon, even where the master knocks out other limbs, he goes free, but he also needs to get shechur. Ramir, I mean, it's right, get shechur, doesn't need it. Rabbi Yezra, I'm a tzorich. Rabbi Tarfud, I'm a tzorich. Rabbi Kiva, I'm a tzorich. And I'm a chrinuf de chachamim oimrim, near the very Rav Tarfud, Shein Va'ayin, Shatar Zachsalom, that Shein Va'ayin doesn't need to get shechur. But Venir de Rabbi Kiva, Bashari Varim, Hoyle the Knas Chachamim. The other limbs were learned out by the Chachamim. So that requires a get shech. Knasu kroy kol v'dashina. It's psukim. El ha'olu midrash chachamimu. So you need a star shech. My time under Rav Shimon. Yolav shiluch shiluch meisha. Ma isha is bishtar. Av evet nami is bishtar. You can't set the evet free without a star. Rav Meir e cause of chot shil basov. Meaning isha chena chot shi kedika amri. That you need star. He was free right away. So we hold like that the 24 limbs that a Evan goes out with, you require a get shikhr as well.
Go to Rabbana. He He didn't knock his eye out, but he blinded him. Or al ozno v'charsha. He struck his ear and he became deaf. Eved yoitzu behem l'chevs. Now, neged eno, he didn't hit him in the eye, but on the side of the eye. Ve eno roe, and it turns out he can't see. Can neged ozno v'eno shum, not directly on the ear. So, ein eved yoitzu ben l'chevs. He doesn't go out. Arav Shemin bar Ravashi l'meimra the color loud noise is love klumu v'atani Rabbi Bar Yecheskel tarnigol shoishi roshul la'avir klishchuches a chicken that stuck its head into a, bo- a glass bowl the talk about made noise ushvaro and broke it with this with the sound. A horse that made noise. The chamor shenor v'shavu kelim b'toch habayis, and things broke because of that. V'sham chatzin ezek. So sound can do damage. Amr le shani adam, given the bardas who eat mivus nafshe. It's not the sound. If a person hears it, he gets scared, and the fright. Causes him to not hear or to have some damage. Kinetaya, Mavi says, Chavero. If you scare your friend, you don't have to pay in court, but you were the cause of it, but it's not damages. Kate said, Talk above in a potter. If you made noise blowing a shofar into somebody's ear and you you made him a deaf, potter. But Achzos of a talk of Ozno. You held on to his ear and you punched it, and you, and you, and you deaf made him deaf. Chai. He called of a chasa. He you struck him on his eye, but he, his his eyesight was dim. Al shino You struck him on his tooth, became loose. Im yachol ishtamish ben achshav. If he can use them, then in eved yosef ben lachemus. Vim lav. If these Structures are not functional. The Evid's eyesight was already dim. And then he blinded him. Or Shino Nadudya. He had a loose tooth and he knocked it out. Vipila. If he was able to use these organs before, and now he can't. And I need tzricha. Initially he could see well. Now he sees weak. He started off weak. Maybe aim a low. Maybe he wouldn't go out. Maybe in a case where you blinded him. He just dimmed his eyesight. I would think he wouldn't go out. Tzricha he goes the owner was a doctor. The and the Eved asked the doctor, his master, to put some medicine on his eye. The Simon, he blinded him. Or Lachter Loshino Vipila. Or to do something to his tooth, he knocked it out. So he was he he tricked the master. Here the doctor was trying to heal him, not to damage him. Person is helping his shivcha give birth. And he sticks his hand in the uterus, the semen, and blinds the fetus, potter. My time to Amar Kovish, she chosa, she chav in the shachosa. He was trying to help, not to damage. The, yeah, but the, 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 ch- the child belongs to him, though. So why should there even be a question? No, but whether, uh, it's, whether, it, whether it goes out, whether, whether it goes out, no, but, 
No, but it, but it, it's you it, know the child. So whether the Uber not, goes out with a shame by knocking out his tooth or knocking out his eye, so he doesn't have to go out. He, he's, no, he's but not, I'm saying, but why been why did I think he should go out? The child belongs to the the master. Right, but if you yes, if you, if you, blind, if you blind your Evid, he goes free. So you could set the Uber free. I know, but this is but this is not related to the woman. Once it comes out, it doesn't have nothing to do with the woman. She's not affected. But the uh, Uber, no we're not talking about the woman, we're talking about the Uber. I know the Uber, but the Uber belongs to the master the master. But he goes out free if he blinded him. If he stuck oh, his you're talking about the uh, oh, you're talking about the Uber, not the mother. We're talking about the Uber. Oh, not the mother. I see. We're talking oh, about the Uber. The the Uber mother. goes free if you knock his eye out. But in this case, he doesn't because his intent, his intent was not Are you evil. coming in this way? Hello, sir. Are you coming no. in this way or that way? The other man, because it could have said, it said, we learned both in it. The eye was already blind. And the master took it out. My time. He's missing a limb. There is such a thing as a Corbin being a Balmum or Either you need a male or a female. It's only by behemoths. Ain't Thomas Vizakras Poifos. By birds, there's no Balmum and there's no male and female. Yachu Yavshir Gapta Nikta Ragla Nechta Eina. So maybe you could still offer a bird Corbin if its leg was cut off or its eye was out. Thomas Lover, Mina Of, the Lokola Of. A, a chisoron, like missing an aver, is not considered a chola oath. So it's considered a chisoron to make it, so therefore, even if an evid was blind in an eye and the, and the master knocked it out, he would go free because it's considered a major mum. Fair, okay. fair tomorrow, wow. tomorrow, we're going to learn at 620. Oh, yeah. Minchas at 7. <laughs> Would a tarnagol, would the case of a tarnagol, would that be chatsi nezik also? The case by, would that be the same? No, because, as a, uh, because the only, chatsi nezik is when it's 